So let's talk about how you can enable version controlling within Excel Cube. So first and foremost, go into the project configuration. Say Salesforce demo is your project. Go into the general settings. And what you need to do is you need to enable version controlling over here. And that's about it. So we'll jump onto the project. Before that, I will show you how you can branch your projects within Excel Cube administration. So give it some time for the projects to load. So say for example, this is our main project. You can clone the project. You can create a branch, etc as well. So let's create a branch of this project. So we say Salesforce demo version one. Okay. So Salesforce demo version one is actually a branch of our current project, which is Salesforce demo. So let's go there. And then what we do is you can change the project from here. You can go into Salesforce demo version one and let's change it here. What you can do is let's go and enable version controlling here as well. So go into the administration tab. Go into the project configuration. And enable the version control here so this is now enabled since we created a branch out of our main project which is Salesforce demo it automatically copies this particular setting okay so now let's just make some few changes in this particular project okay so say for example uh, we had to you know make some changes uh, with regards to logging into Salesforce. Okay, so you see here there is an option for checkout, which means version controlling has been enabled. So let's say when you log in into Salesforce, uh, you know, you may want to come up with a new feature is basically to select the remember me checkbox. So this was not there earlier. And your version one, this particular checkbox appeared. So let's make these changes. So if you see here, when you try to make changes, you will see action is read only. So you need to check out. Uh, you can see the reason for checkout is add the remember me checkbox selection. So I check out. So the moment I check out, I'm able to make changes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this checkbox. So I say save, I say remember me. So I say remember me checkbox. Okay, and then I say add element. Now what I want to do is I want to add a step or a statement before this. So I say here, I say click on web element I say remember me and that's about it okay so I have checked this checkbox now and I'm done with my changes I say check in and yes the remember me checkbox selection uh, has been added so I then check in so now I'm good Okay, so uh, we have made the checkout check-in changes over here and uh, uh, let's see what happens when we try to merge this projects back again. So I go to projects and branching. So we'll wait for the projects to appear. So now here, uh, the Salesforce demo one is something we want to push it back onto the root branch. So what we do here is uh, we say in the main branch or the root branch, we say pull changes. So we say pull changes. 
from related projects. So we click on this. Uh, we say we want to pull it from our child project, which is Salesforce demo version one. Reason for project update, change, uh, change in say login flow and you proceed and here you will get exactly where you made those changes out so this is the particular line specifically that we added which is to click on uh, the remember me web element which is something that you will see as a difference given by excel queue all right you have can accept these changes so if you think this is the right change you can accept the changes right and you can check that uh, you will see that a new element has been added here which is the remember me checkbox which you are good to go with uh, right and it has been accepted so you see that what we have done is we have modified one action and we have added one element so you will get the entire summary here of your changes and once you agree to these changes you can see finish and merge and once your merge is successful you will see the changes also reflecting in salesforce demo so let's go and check this out so we'll go to salesforce demo and now if you see here uh, you will be able to see uh, that you know those changes that you did in version one will also start to reflect here. So that's about it on version controlling basics. Thank you.